Hey guys, back again with another video. We know CSIR exam is approaching, so it will be very good video for you because I am taking now the previous exam questions that will be helpful. Let's see the questions here now. So here is the number one. In the in this, we have to calculate the spin and parity of the g orbital, g nuclear orbital. We know the azimuthal quantum number value of s p d g f h. That is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as shown. And their parity value is plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, minus. And they, these are their spin. Okay, you have to learn it. If they'll ask about the D, they'll ask about the F, you can answer it very well. So here we are having our second question. See, in second question, they are asking about the NMR spectrum. When we are talking about the NMR spectrum, they'll ask about the multiplicity. So you know the multiplicity formula 2Ni plus 1. And for deuterium, we are having I value is equal to 1. From there, you can calculate their multiplicity as N is the number of D atom. And I is the spin of D atom. So, we'll get the answer 3. It will be non-Pascal. And the, that HD will show triplet with intensity ratio is equal to 1 is to 1 is to 1. Okay, this is about your second question. Let's take number 3. Number 3 is silicates with the continuous 3D framework. We know mesosilicates are also called orthosilicate and they were having SiO4 2 negative tetrahedra as a unit. Sorosilicates they were having Si2O7 2 negative. Tactosilicates they were having SiO2 unit with 3D framework. So the answer will be tactosilicate with the SiO2 unit. It's a general simple question you have to learn it by which unit uh, is carried in the which silicate. Okay, next is the structure of carborane with formula C2B4H8. We have to derive here what type of structure it is. Okay, see C2B4H8, BH, 4BH, CH2, and 2 hydrogen. So we have completed our hydrogen 4 to 6, 6 or 2, 8. Okay, so here we'll be having the number of electron pair. That is 8 electron pair and number of electrons will be 16 electron. If we'll add 2 more electron, then it will be 18. So M plus 2 electron pair will be there. And if N plus 2 is there, that means it is a needle. Why we have taken here 2 number of electron? Because BH contribute 2 electron to the framework and CH contribute 3 electron to the framework. So thus, in this way, we can derive the structure. It was asked in the question, just derive it. It is a Araco, Nido. Okay, so this is about the question number four. Let's take the next one. Here we are having the next question in which they asked about the Be2C3. The diberylium tricarbide structure. And they are saying that it is related, correlated with the calcium fluoride structure. Okay, so you have to tell about the coordination number of carbon only, not about the beryllium. They are not asking about the beryllium, they ask about the carbon only. As we know, it is co correlated with the calcium fluoride and Be2 positive. Re uh, similar structure there, so Be2 positive. Here, Ca2 positive tetrahedral voids they are occupying and it resembles the uh, face centered cubic structure. Okay. So, Be2 positive will have 4 coordination number and carbide will be having 8 coordination number. So, answer will be the 8 for the carbon only. They are asking about the carbon only, not about the uh, beryllium. So, in next question, they ask about the catalyst. They have given the catalyst and you have to tell about the reaction. I have uh, written it. They were uh, saying that the column 1 was carrying the catalyst and column 2 was carrying the uh, reaction. You have to match them. So, I have just written, you have to learn it, that these are the uh, catalysts which are generally used in the reaction. And that is asymmetric hydrogenation, hydroformylation, coupling, asymmetric hydrogen transfer, palladium triphenyl, uh, tetraphenyl, uh, triphenyl phosphine with four number of molecule. A rhodium dicarbonyl, it is here. Okay, so this is about your uh, catalyst and the reaction, just learn it. So, I will be taking the next question. Next is from the solid chapter. It is from the 12th class. So, see, they asked about the packing, pack, uh, packing fraction of simple cubic lattice. 
how to calculate the packing fraction of simple uh, simple not simple that is simple cubic lattice so here we are having a formula that is number of particle per unit cell multiplied by the volume of one particle and divided by the total volume of unit cell so for the simple cubic lattice we are having number of particle per unit cell that is equal to 1 because in simple cubic lattice uh, cell there will be the number of atoms are present for it then atoms are present only at the corners that is 8 into and contribution will be 1 by 8 so their contribution will be 1 simple and uh, that is the volume of one part here a is the uh, unit cell length so here a cube will be there so after the calculation we will get the 0 0.52 answer okay so next question we are having from the solid itself here we have to calculate the density we are given the structure type that is face centered cubic cell and the density is given 1.33 gram per cc we have to cal to calculate the molar mass of the matter okay we know that the formula density rho that is equal to number of particles per unit cell n capital m molar mass divided by avogadro's number and multiplied by the edge length okay so here we are having the formula uh, if we will keep the m here rest will be moved here because these are given we have to calculate the m so rho n a cube divided by m okay so here we will get the uh, after doing the calculation we will get the answer 25 so your answer will be 25 today's video don't forget to like and subscribe it thank you for watching it